What's going on everybody? This is gonna be a quick ahead drumsticks maintenance tutorial of sorts for you. When I'm playing with wood drumsticks, I'm lucky if they last a few songs. Whereas these sticks, especially when I'm at home and not pounding away uh, live, a pair of sticks could last a few months. So this is what the sticks look like, brand new. They're not used yet. You can see the covers look nice and sleek. Whereas here's a stick I've been playing for a while now. The grip tape is also awesome. And even if a head drumsticks aren't for you and you're playing wood sticks, I know a lot of drummers that like to use the grip tape, even on their wood sticks. Here's a closer look at some covers that have been played on for at least a month. So super torn up and serve their purpose. When you remove the covers and tips, you're left with the exposed uh, aluminum shaft here. When you open up a brand new pair of covers and try to replace it on the stick, it's not really gonna go down and they're made that way purposefully because the more snug the fit of a new cover on the stick, uh, the better protected the, you know, the integral part of the stick is. So all you're gonna need is a hair dryer. I believe the covers are made of polyurethane. So as you heat it up, you can see now it's just about there, still a little bit of gap. And there we go. So really you just want the cover to be flush. You'll see on top, that's where you're gonna go ahead and screw on a fresh tip. What I like to do, kind of like when you're tuning a drum, is I start off by getting it finger tight as much as I can. And then what I like to do to not uh, damage the tip is just take, you know, some scrap paper, then take a normal pair of pliers. You don't wanna do it so much so where you're like hearing it scrape, but you just wanna get it you know, just tight enough until basically that happens, where it's just tight enough where you sort of lose your grip on it. And then that means that is perfectly tight enough. So really, there you go. Here's an ahead drumstick without the cover and tip. Here's the one we just replaced versus here is a brand new Max 5A ahead drumstick. Uh, I've been playing ahead drumsticks for a year now. I love them. I could never go back to playing wood sticks I'm a rock drummer primarily, so wood tip versus nylon tip for drummers I know is a tonal debate, but I personally like the projection and attack of nylon tips. So if you're a wood drumstick player that's playing nylon tips anyway, I especially recommend giving a head drumsticks a try. I played the Fat Beat 5A series, which I really liked, but the Max 5A are the series that are supposed to have the longest uh, lifespan of a stick. It says on the website, last six to 10 times longer. If you have any other questions, comments, thoughts, you can comment here. You can head over to a Head Drumsticks Instagram page or their website, and I'd be happy to share any more thoughts and opinions. You could watch any of my latest YouTube videos from the last year or so and see them in action. And I appreciate you checking this out and take care and stay safe.